Hi there, it's Tuesday the 27th of October 2020 and we're here again with our thought for the day. And our thought for the day is this, that you have to be afraid to be brave. You have to be afraid in order to be brave. I don't know if you think about yourself as being brave, but let me ask you another question. Have you ever been afraid? I'm pretty sure the answer to that is yes. I've been afraid many times in my life about all kinds of things. Afraid of, of health issues, health worries, afraid of relationship breakdown, afraid of um, getting into financial difficulties, afraid of losing my employment, afraid of having to make a difficult phone call to apologise to somebody about something that I said which was wrong, afraid to go into a board meeting at work where there were going to be some difficult things discussed, afraid of having to stand up for something that I really believe in, that I knew somebody was going to get angry with me for standing up for. Many things that we can be afraid of. And it's not a nice thing to be afraid. It can cause us to be very churned up inside, can cause us to be anxious, to lose sleep, can cause us even physical symptoms sometimes when we are afraid. But you know, we have to be afraid if we're going to be brave. People who are brave are not people who are not afraid. People who are brave, on the contrary, are people who are afraid, but overcome their fear. So if I was afraid of making that difficult phone call, when I picked up that phone in my fear and trembling and made that phone call, I was being brave when I was afraid of that relationship difficulty, when I spoke to the person to try and mend that relationship. I was afraid, but I was also at the same time being very brave. Courage and bravery comes out of fear. And in order to be brave and courageous, we have to first be afraid. Gideon was a man in the Bible who was very afraid, afraid of all kinds of things but he allowed himself to be used by God and showed great bravery. Even though he was nervous in what he did, he was so brave. And you know, God honours us for our bravery. So can I encourage you, whatever it is that's making you afraid in your life just now, whatever is causing you anxiety, it's not wrong to feel these feelings, but can I encourage you to be brave and to be courageous and to take the steps that you know you need to take. Take those steps to go outside, go for a walk, get out your house, for example. Maybe take the step to make a phone call, speak to somebody that you haven't spoken to for a while. Whatever it is, take that step of bravery and courage and God will help you with that. Let's take a moment to pray, shall we? Father God, you know all these things in our lives which make us afraid and we feel it very deeply sometimes. But we thank you, Lord, that just as you gave Gideon bravery and courage, we thank you that you give us courage to enable us to be brave and to do what we know we have to do. And we thank you that we can do all things through Christ who gives us that strength. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Speak to you again tomorrow.